My name is Valerie Kimani. I'm an artist, a believer, a coach. I take the broken things of life and turn them into something beautiful. Chai is an invitation to conversations on wholeness. These conversations are how I'm turning the trauma in my business into triumph. Each episode, an inspiring sip of clarity. I do this work for my children and my children's children. I share it here for you. Episode one, how do I find my purpose? I promised myself I would get this episode out this week. I've been procrastinating. We cross into next week, literally in a few minutes. (laughs) Why do I do this? Because I am still learning to pursue my purpose. Not from a scared, triggered place with a frantic, frenzied energy disguised as achievement. I'm relearning how to use my real voice. Excuse me, by the way, for sounding a little bit funny on our very first podcast. Thank you, COVID, for the bonus sinus infection. Anyway, where was I? Yes, I am learning how to wake myself up from a dead place where I do the expected, the socially acceptable, the rat race status quo to a life of meaning, of authenticity, of passion. I was dead to my reason for being here on this earth for decades, three decades to be precise. And now that I've found it, you'd think I'd go running towards it with the same fervor, right? (laughs) That's not how trauma works, though. You have to take it slow. Train yourself to go where you previously froze, fought, or fled. Perhaps even fond. We go slow because the intention isn't to re traumatize ourselves, but to heal. Here's something for you to consider, difference maker you. As you make a difference out there in other people's lives, Allow yourself enough room to get comfortable with all the changes you're making in your own life. Because in my experience, to get to your purpose, you have to go through your pain. Not a very fun proposition, I know, but there's no way around it. You're still healing, adjusting, shifting, changing fundamental patterns of thought, (laughs) entire belief systems. It's monumental work with far-reaching impact. I implore you, be gentle with yourself. This is what it comes down to. On the other side of what breaks your heart is your unique contribution to fixing it. So what hurts? Right now, what's causing you to lose sleep? 
What's aggravating you? Making you angry? What are you so afraid of letting yourself feel? Or of perhaps admitting to yourself? Oh, after you've answered those questions, consider one more. What's one thing I feel absolutely compelled to do about it right now to make it better? Somewhere in this process, look out for a thought, an idea, or maybe an action that gives you even the slightest sense of relief. Like, well, if I could do that, that would feel great. I would, I would be at peace. I would be just so happy if I could do that, so proud. Or I would finally rest. I would allow myself to rest if I did that. That, my friend, is the difference only you can make. That's your purpose. When you find it, when you connect to it, you do feel an overwhelming sense of relief. Deep rest. Deep <laughs> You lock into what seems to be a very easy, natural flow. It just makes sense to you. Like, on a gut level. It might feel like you're cheating the system somehow. <laughs> this can't be what I do for work. This, <laughs> that's it. This is, this is what I do with my life now. <laughs> ah, excuse my blocked nose. <laughs> it may be a good idea to process all this with a trusted voice or a coach like myself. Just putting it out there. It sometimes helps to hear your thoughts out loud before you proceed with action, because that's what we're about. Action. It builds confidence to get validation or affirmation from yourself about what you need to do. Your purpose isn't this mystical, intangible thing that's dropped down to you in a dream. It's the practical, intentional, real impact you have potential to make right now towards the improvement of someone or something's existence that comes from the most authentic expression of who you are. Mm? I'll say that again for the people in the back. It is the practical intentional, real impact you have potential to make towards the improvement of someone or something's existence that comes from the most authentic expression of who you are. You have to get to your authentic self first to connect to your purpose. Your purpose, my friend, is tied to your wholeness. So if you're still hurting, you've still got work to do. Beware though, friend. Deciding to pursue your purpose is a whole different ballgame from, say, a regular job. The rules of engagement are totally different. The reward isn't always necessarily monetary, I know, mind-blowing, Yet somehow, it's still deeply gratifying. You will have to do your own internal work 
to redefine these values, to stand by them, non-defensively, because you will get tested, mocked, challenged even, (laughs) along the way. What are you doing with your life? Why are you doing it that way? That makes absolutely no sense. (laughs) Think of anyone that made a real impact in your life. Mm. Think of what they did that made a difference to you. Was this something everyone did for you? Or were they the exception because they did something different, unexpected, something that actually helped, something that worked? Purpose doesn't happen by accident. Shortcuts will reveal themselves. Inconsistencies will tell on you, my friend, as they often do on me. Because I'm in this with you, doing my own work. The evidence of success, though, will be your life. There's nothing like it. Your life will work in a way that is so beautiful, so meaningful, so rich. Your personal systems will speak for themselves, revealing exactly where you are on your journey, not to shame you. Not to criticize you. To inspire you. To keep walking your wholeness path. To keep healing, to keep growing. Like I said, no way around that. And that's why most people prefer to commit to a job. Than finding their purpose. Nothing wrong with it, obviously, but if you're looking to do something more with your life, then just get paid at the end of the month, eat, sleep, rinse, repeat, then you're in good company. This is what we'll talk about on this podcast, and we won't just be talking about it. We'll be walking the walk, exercising our individual wholeness at our own pace. Speaking of, here's your assignment. I challenge you to rise to meet it. Then complete it. Journal, yes. Actually write in a designated purpose journal the answers to these questions. What in my life right now hurts? What do I find myself getting angry about? What am I most afraid of? Why do these things upset me? And if nothing was holding me back, what would I do about it? I so look forward to hearing from you on the Valerie Kimani YouTube page or on Chai, the Purpose Podcast's Instagram page. See you on the next one, Difference Maker. Hopefully my nose will be unblocked then. You've got this.